Okay, so we're going to be reviewing solo leveling. And I mean, I've been playing for a pretty good bit. I got locked out. Well, I mean, I got locked out of the story for the most part. I could do like two more missions essentially, but that's basically it, right? Two more battles and I'm like kind of locked until I get to level 20, which is going to take me a little bit. Um, so I want to get my thoughts now because I mean, I'm going to, it's going to take a bit for me to get to that point, which I will probably be doing a lot of progress mainly on stream. So pop into stream probably tonight. I think by the time I'm uh, going to post this, it's going to be four to five hours from the time I actually stream, but we'll see. So I've been enjoying myself a lot and I just want to preface this is a soft launch within Thailand and Canada. On Canada, it's only an Android and PC client. So if you go on the Netmarble launcher, which you could get by searching up Netmarble, then download any of their games on PC and then it's going to give you the Netmarble client. Well, if you're on in a Canada VPN or in Canada or Thailand, I think, well, you will be able to get solo leveling on the PC on an actual PC client. So I mean, or a PC, yeah, PC client. So it's going to be pretty good. Um, it works decently well in terms of gameplay itself. It is very smooth, much smoother than it would be on Bluestack. So that is great. And I'm a huge fan of solo leveling. I've read the manhua about, I think, I think I finished my sixth reread and I've dabbled a bit in the novel, but I didn't stick to it because I found it was just a bit hard for me to enjoy as much as the webtoon. But I mean, I like novels, but just not that much uh, for solo leveling. Um, it didn't really work out for me. Now, I'm enjoying this game a lot. The way they're doing everything is really good. The gameplay is amazing, okay? So there's a lot of different game modes that we're going to end up um, unlocking. And I think the main ones that are going to be very hard are going to be Battlefield of Trials, Battlefield, Battlefield of Time, and Power of Destruction, which is going to take uh, probably two more days to unlock. Battlefield of Trials is going to be unlocked, I think, today. Um, but then Battlefield of Time and Power of Destruction is going to take a little bit. Um, so, yes, solo leveling, amazing. Now, let's explain a bit Jin Wu and how the hunters work. And then we're going to go a bit into some gameplay and then go into pretty much everything else. I'm just going to explain how the gameplay works and that's going to be it. So, Jin Wu is his own thing. So, there's going to be some games, some matches that you're going to do. Uh, for example, we'll show you right now just to make it a bit easier to explain. So, in Gates, you're able to use Jin Wu in some of them and then hunters only in others. So, with the Jin Wu one... Uh, for example, how it works is you're able to run three hunters with them, but they're only assist characters. Now, when you're doing hunters only, Jin Wu is not going to be in there, and you're able to actually use them in these runs, which is why, I mean, you want both hunters and Jin Wu to be good. Now, how exactly do they make a Jin Wu, like, quote-unquote, pay to win? Now, how they do it is by giving him his own type of weapons. So, these weapons that I have are only runnable on Jinwoo, as we can see by the little icon right there. Now, you can also see that in the weapons, there are some that are only for hunters too. Now, the weapons, how they make it more free to play for this is that the weapons for hunters that are SSR are all craftable. So, if you go to craft, you will be able to see that, well, you can get choice here. You can get it from the dice event that's out right now. And all the other ones are craftable at a certain point. How exactly we're going to be able to get the these um, items we'll find out later but these are all craftable weapons so that's exactly how they do it so these are all free i think we'll get more information on that in a bit now jinwoo i love how they did it you're able to use a bunch of weapons on them they all look crazy bro i'm using a gun like hello that's sick now one thing i really liked is that you're able to assign stat points and I mean, it's basically like in the Manhua, right? You're able to get increased strength and then, well, you're going to be doing a lot of damage, right? So I've been going for a pretty spread out one, but I've put a lot into MP because over time, now that I have two guns, especially two weapons, well, it's going to take a lot more MP, I'm pretty sure. So all that's pretty cool. And what's very cool, what I did like was that at the beginning, they just immediately without asking put 10 points into stats, uh, into strength. And if you remember, at the beginning, Jin Wu was highly investing into strength. And then he's like, oh, wait, I need to actually invest into other things. So just accident, well, accidentally, just putting 10 points into strength at the beginning, like forcing Jin Wu to have an extra 10 compared to the other stats was pretty cool, I gotta say. Now for this, I'm gonna put, we're gonna put five into crit because now that I'm using both of the weapons, I need a bit more crit. So um, yes, that's basically it. Now you're able to actually choose skills and there are runes that go alongside it. That's gonna basically be doing other things along with it. Now, how exactly it works I'm not really too sure, but from what I'm understanding is it's increasing the level and also doing some different things. So it's dealing dark damage, which elemental damage will let you, let you basically get type advantage damage in. So for this one, I have um, multi-strike right now, but basically I'm just choosing ones that have break because um, armor is very annoying to get through, right? So that's basically how I got. But 
Mutilate would not be a bad idea. Um, and then it got Crushing Blow. And then for this, it's just like the stealth skill that um, kind of a bit like Kong, uh, well, the one it gets from Kang Tai Shik, but very strong, right? It looks super sick, right? Um, so you're going to be able over time to get more ultimate skills. And then there's going to be Blessings, which we're going to unlock or we're going to find out later, right? Now, how his levels work is it's dependent on your basically account level. So Jin Wu's level 18, so I'm level 18. And then all the other hunters can only be a max of level 18, okay? Now, you're able to equip any um, weapons you want on him, um, well, that are for Jin Wu, right? And they're going to basically work perfectly well for him. Now, you're also going to get some SSRs for free, if I remember correctly. Is it challenges? Yes. So if you go to chapter 12, you get his weapon at the end. Uh, one of the weapons, a scythe, right? And these are also obtainable in the gacha, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. All right, so um, now let's continue on. Uh, what's very cool is that you're going to unlock different uh, classes for him. And uh, you're going to get the Necromancer once we finish the job change for that. And once we fight Igris, and this is going to be cool. This is what I wanted to stop at today, but I just wasn't able because of the levels. Now you can see also changes skins for most of these. And uh, yeah, no, it's going to be looking pretty crazy this i mean bro the fights where you're fighting jin Wu, to basically um kind of like how in grand cross to like get the passives you have to fight um like a like a team to get your passive well it's kind of like that but this is actually a lot harder now you have to fight a like shadow version of jin Wu. i wish i could show you you have to fight a shadow version of jin Wu, and he's very strong now you're lucky that you have a revive but i would have actually been happier if there was no revive because you're allowed one free revive per cha uh, job change um, and bro, it is tough, okay? It is tough. Now, Jinwoo himself, I, I got uh, KR voices, by the way, but they're all good. So we'll talk about the voices a bit later. But um, yeah, no, it's really interesting. I still got to understand the stats a bit more. One of the main things is that I just like, one of the main, I just, <sighs> there's some things that don't really make too much sense to me that I'm going to start trying to kind of get through, especially the weapon passives are very confusing, but I'm enjoying this game quite a lot. Um, for a lot of people, I'm going to guess you're going to start getting to the Kang Tai Shik fight, which is this one right here. Um, and the last fight is super hard. Guys, I beat it with one second to spare. One second. We had three minutes and I beat it in 150, wait, 160, uh, 79 seconds out of 180. Dog. I was stressing, okay? It was so cool, though. It was so cool. So, wow. I haven't had the time to really dabble too much into gear, but it does seem to be okay the way they do it. Um, the way you actually get gear, we're going to talk about the Hunters right after. The way you get gear is in, for right now, Encore Missions. Um, it's fighting bosses that you previously previously fought. So, we're going to... we. I'm pretty sure we... I already fought Cerebus, didn't I? No, I did not. I did not. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Uh, no, wait. I swear I did. I don't know. Anyway. Um... It's pretty cool, right? Gear right now doesn't seem too bad. I don't know where I'm at right now. Um, if we look at... There's two sets and four sets, so there's only four pieces, which... I mean, no, I think it goes up to eight if I'm not mistaken over time. But uh, I think it's going to be very fun. The way that they let you have so many different types of builds, I personally enjoy. I think it's going to be a very fun type of way to actually do this. Now, there are some skins. I want to get this one uh, really badly. They're all sick. I just... I don't know. I don't find that, find that one to be too cool. I would get this, but I want some... Uh, I want him in his coat. Like, his actual, like, long um, uh, coat. That, would, that one would be very, very cool. So now, onto the hunters, right? You're able to use three hunters, and, I mean, the hunters are pretty cool. The way that they do it is very nice, and obviously, um, so like I explained, you're able to level it up depending on the account level itself. Um, and the weapons are separate completely, so there is that, but the characters are insanely cool. And if we go to the codex, I'm also going to talk about something else, but um, you could see, not this, you could see for the hunters, right, there's 22, and there are some originals. I swear Ana Ruiz is an original, uh, tell me if I'm mistaken, but besides that, Emma Laurent and Seo Jiwoo are both originals. Emma Laurent um, is very strong from what I'm understanding. She's an amazing AoE alongside Choi jong in but the thing is, because of how good Choi seems to be. I don't think you really need Emma because they're the same typing. So a lot of people are also really liking Seo Ji Woo's um, just design. So, you know, um, I would say that definitely uh, the OCs, they're doing an amazing job with them. I'd say it's three for three for the most part. But then even besides that, the characters that they made just to have in the overworld, oh my, how am I going to get out? Uh, so this character, right, looks pretty cool. But uh, it's this one that a lot of people seem to kind of like. Um, and I swear there's another one unless I'm tripping. Is there? 
yes, this girl, this girl too is another original that they made for this game. So all that stuff is pretty cool. But going back to the hunters, right? You're able to uh, just apply one weapon, and it seems that you're able to dupe out a weapon ten times because that's five stars and then an extra five. And it's made this weapon kind of crazy, giving it a lot of extra stats. So I'm going to have to, we're going to probably make a video on that more so in the future. But you can see how many skills there are. So there's a basic attack and then a core attack, which does seem to be the final attack. Or kind of like when you dash an attack is how it's going to look. So we could preview it right now. But it's going to be like this one. I think for him, is it the same? I think it, yes. Okay, so basically the one, from what I'm understanding, from what I remember, is when I dash, usually I get access to use this core attack. So it's like a stronger, heavy attack, right? So besides that, there are a lot of attacks, right? So we got basic skills, which are just the two skills you could use, E and Q, if I remember correctly. Um, and then special skills. So he's got a support skill, um, which I think is when you tag him in. The QTE skill is a quick time event. So this one, I think, is done when you dash, right? Um, and then it, it's his ult, right? The ult do have, um, or the ultimates do have um, animations, like special cut-ins. Cut and also, they're, they all have intro, like uh, intros for when you get into the match, so it's pretty cool. And they have passives, and the passives do increase uh, with dupe. So, you know, there is that, but I mean, it is pretty cool. I, I really like Byung-Gu. He saved me in the, the Kang Tai Shik fight. And bro, this guy... I fucking love Huang Dong. Is it Dong Su? Okay, because I get mixed up between the brothers like Dong Suk and Duang Dong Su. But Dong Su is so sick, right? A lot of damage, just very easy to grind. But there's a lot of uh, AoE units that are very easy to grind. But obviously, Choi Jong In makes sense why he's so good to grind with because he's the ultimate hunter, just able to just do stuff like insanely well. So, you know, yeah, but I'm happy I got Huang. I just really want to get um, uh, Choi now. That would be one of the main things for me uh, personally to be able to get um Troy right right now so we're gonna do a bit of summons later alongside the summon section but yeah no uh looking pretty cool there now another thing i do want to mention in the codex is that there are hunters uh hunters there are shadows so let me pull this up you actually see that you could use the shadows in here you could use three shadows i don't know how exactly that's gonna work but uh yeah so um we got four shadows now one of the big things if we check it out let me go back to the codex is that um in here right there's blades which is literally baruka he remember you were not able to extract his shadow in the webtoon jin Wu did not extract his shadow and he's in here and we're gonna be able to get him which is so cool okay the other three we did get but man i love this so much like baruka bro it's crazy that he's actually in here i love this i love this right this is something that they're adding as just like a gift i feel like to the fans and I'm 100% here for it. Like, hello. Of course I'm here for it. That's insane. That is so insane. So definitely something good that they um, did there. Now, next up, um, I do want to talk about, like, I guess, um, the cutscenes. So everything looks really good. So to be eaten. Yes, sir, bro. Oh, bro, this looks good. Hello? The lighting here? No, 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 that looks too good. If you check it out, like for the chapters, I don't know if I could like go back to it, but like for example, I guess like earlier on, um, wouldn't be bad, I guess. We'll just uh, do this. Um, so basically, there's a bunch of cutscenes, and how they do it is like half and half, right? So you've got um, Webtoon, and then later on, it might be some actual cutscenes with 3D animation, and the way it, it's like, it's pretty nice, and then there's also a visual novel type of uh, cutscene. The cutscenes, by the way, I just want to say, look really good. Plus, you could skip it. Plus, you could skip it. So, you know, you know, that's also um, another really big thing. Now, next up, I want to talk about this. We're going to do a bit of summons, I guess, uh, since we got some, and then uh, talk about all of that good stuff. So, um, honestly, okay, so Choi jong is the rate up. Now, I already did a full pity. This is my second pity. And uh, there is a soft pity. At 64, there's a soft pity. And you can see here that it goes up much, like, very quickly. So at first, it starts off at 19%. Now it's at uh, 24%. And it's going to slowly go up. So you would most likely will not reach 80 pity, right? Now, 80 is guaranteed. Like, at 80 pity, no matter what, you are getting an SSR, okay? But uh, it's just the fact that um, this is the second pity. And it does not seem like I'm going to be guaranteed Choi. It is a 50-50 chance, no matter how many times you do it, to get Choi. So, I mean, we could do a single and, like, kind of see. Um, we, well, maybe we'll see the animations. Maybe uh, would be cool. Please. You want to wanna give me an error? Would be nice. I don't think we're going to get it. I feel like my luck. Even one in four. Oh, okay. We got it. So, this. Please be Choi. 
So, you know, we're either gonna see happiness or just depression. Okay. That's... Let's go! Okay, so we got Choi. I don't know if that means we won a 50-50 or if it's guaranteed, but, like, look at those animations. Look at those animations, right? So, you know, it is very beautiful. So, yes, um... I mean, there. I mean, I can't really complain. Uh, so there we go. But I just don't think the way that they word it, the way that it shows that it's still 50-50 chance, I don't think no matter what, Choi is guaranteed even after you lose a 50-50. But the rate normally is 1.2%. And the rate up is 0.6. And obviously the rest is 0.62. And it's a total or it's a combination of the hunters and also the Jin Wu's weapons. So that's basically how it works. Now there's a selection draw, which is kind of like their standard. And they give out a bunch of these pulls. And it stays at 1.2%, but obviously I'm in the um, the soft pity now. And essentially, you get all of these characters and Jin Wu's weapons, the same ones as was on this banner. But you're able to choose four to rate up out of everything. And these are the four that I put. Um, the ones I really want is Bayek and also um, Emma, I guess. But because we just got um, Choi, maybe we go back to putting weapons. Like, Emma is pretty cool, but like I want to show more of the characters, right? So we'll have to see, but you know, we'll, we'll keep Emma because she does seem to be pretty cool and I want to use a rapier. So yeah, after that, once we get like two more of these, I'll probably start putting um, the weapons, probably the gun and the scythe. We'll have to see. Um, but no, this is pretty cool. The way that they do this standard or the like standard banner, this is basically the standard banner. It is really good that you're able to rate up the ones you want because over time, right, you might want to dupe out certain things. And I think it's just a really good system. It's a really good system. So let's do a multi. Since we have a multi, we should get an SSR here also. Because at 63 pity, it's going to basically go to be... Um, what's it called? Uh, soft pity, right? Oh, we don't get it? Maybe it's going to be fake out. That's the thing. It can fake out in this game. Um, but I feel that the way that soft pity is, is that... Okay, two... Oh, there we go. Yeah, fake out. So the way that it is... it. Oh, we got, uh, we got the um, arrow guy. This is the one guy I genuinely don't remember his name. But hey, that looks pretty good, right? So there we go, Lim Tai Gyu. All right. So um, yeah, I genuinely do think that um, the way that they have soft pity is it's just gonna make you you're never gonna get to eighty. Like the pity is more around sixty to seven. Uh, sorry, seventy, because that sixty four is when the soft pity starts. So now we could take out. We could just at any time take it out. And since I'm gonna get Lee Bora and uh, Wu Jin Chol. Huh, I might just start... I want to dupe out the gun, I think, as much as possible. I really want to build a gun team, unless I find out it's bad. Um, for now, I'll have the gun, but we'll see. Maybe tomorrow I'll realize that it's just not good. So the summons overall, I'm kind of okay with it. But for raid-ups, like, you could get mad unlucky, it seems, and just not get a guaranteed um, raid-up, which is going to kind of suck. I think it's going to suck pretty badly. So I hope that they do change that. But um, I am very happy that we did get Choi. That is pretty cool that we just got two new SSRs here. So now, oh my god, I'm probably going to use Choi, Huang, and uh, Min Byung Gu. But then if ever I need to use a dark unit, then, you know, there we go. But uh, let's level this up. And bada bing, bada boom. So yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, now, I think overall, it's okay, right? Oh, bro, so sick, so sick. Okay, anyway. Let's go on to the next thing that I did want to talk about. Um, the voices are really cool. And you could just change them at any time if you go to language, right? I put Korean, but even the Japanese voices, um, I think it changes just right away, which is so crazy. But they sound really good. Um, Jinwoo, you want to... Want... Yeah. Yeah, no, they're, they're all sick. And even the English voice, right? English voice for him too. is I don't know how loud it is for you guys, but I'll put it a bit louder. Um, so if you go to the English voice, right? Um, Jin, Jinwoo's English voice too is also really good. Time to warm up. I do feel that that sounds a bit like Archer. Let's try. Is it? I don't know. Anyway, I want to keep Korean just because I'm experiencing the Japanese in the anime, and I, I don't know. I want a Korean over English, right? Just a personal preference. Um, so you know, there we go. Three voices though is pretty nice and a good amount of languages. Um, I, I mean, maybe they'll probably have like Italian, German, all of that stuff on launch too. So, you know, expect all of that good stuff. Now, overall, should you really be playing? I'd say so. Um, I do want to, let's just, uh, let's equip, uh, hmm, if we put this attribute, okay, weakness attribute, hmm, we'll put, we'll put this, we'll put this. Now we don't need to use them really. So we'll, uh, we'll go for that. And besides that, we could put some artifact auto equip if we can. I think we could put some. Okay, so, you know, we'll do a match. We'll, well, a match. We'll do a uh, gate, right? So that's how they call it. I think it's a daily reset. So you get 11 um, resets or 11 uh, keys a day is what I'm understanding. And there are some S-rank gates. So we're going to go into it. Um, I want to use the hunters. So let's go to one with hunters. 
Okay, there's not really many high ones, so let's uh, do this. All right, perfect. Please be a hunter for a high rank. Oh, okay, well, B rank. Okay, we'll go for B rank. That's fine. Um, so, yes, we're going to explain the gameplay a bit with this. Um, it is looking to be pretty cool, right? Oh, we have to level this up. Hold up. All right, so now it's leveled up. Um, and let's just go in. Let's have a bit of fun, show how exactly this is going to work. But, um, no, the gameplay itself, I really do enjoy the way that the uh, quick time event works with the dashing is really nice. And also, you're able to sometimes stun them or, like, kind of, like, set them back and stop their attacks and it works really well right um so we're gonna try to get some quick time events in and you can see this is like the intro that they play at the beginning for the person who's leading the party um and i mean the graphics themselves gameplay looks really good so i want to use troy because I, I mean obviously we just pulled him right but you can see you got an e and then we just did a quick time and when you do that you're able to just like swap in and do basically more stuff um, and that's basically how it's going to work. You're also able to just swap in normally. And the swap in time is really short. Two seconds is really not that bad for this. Um, and then you see we just got to go in here. And then, you know, we got someone like Kwan Dong Su who has a bunch of stomps, right? That's just all he does. And with for the normal, right? So what I was explaining is that this is the normal. Or sorry, that's the like uh, kind of, uh, what's it called? The charged attack, I don't know, whatever it was, but I was explaining it um, at first, how there's like two different levels to that. And uh, that's the like kind of more advanced one. And uh, here we got the boss, right? The graphics for this game look beautiful. The way that they show the bosses also. Now we can see here, um, we just go bop. And then we got a big ass animation playing, right? So we got E, Q is usually just how we do it. And then we can use his alt. So. Beautiful. Looks like Zhongli and then, you know, we are... I've just gotten kind of used... Oh, Extreme Evasion is how they call it. I've gotten used to just, like, doing those evades. Um, so let's go here. Bob! And then we ult. And he should probably be dead. Huang does a lot of damage. It's kind of insane, right? Okay, so we're gonna be able to kill very soon. And there we go. So the gameplay looks very cool, right? Let's use Jinwu next and then, uh, you know, we'll be good for that. But basically, I'm just using this as a way to kind of show a bunch of gameplay. Show how everything's working and, like, maybe get you guys interested in the game. I think that it looks... And it is very cool. So now we got an A rank and we'll show how it is when it's support, right? Could Oh, this is what I mean. The PC client. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, a bunch of XP now. Okay. Um, so yeah, sometimes you just have to click and click and click and click. Now, this is how it's going to work. Let's put in... Um, there we go. Now, having Ming Byung Yu, I think, late game is going to be super important. Because he's like the... I think the only SSR healer who also does a lot of other stuff. Now, I think uh, Lee Bora also does similar stuff. But I don't know if she's outright a healer, but she might be. But the thing is, Ming Byung Yu is just cooler. So... There's that. But if you're into honkers, you know, maybe you want to just go for uh, Lee Bora. Oh, okay. For a second, I got a bit scared, but I think we're good. All right. So sometimes they play these cutscenes for like higher um, dungeons, right? So like this is an A rank. But, you know, I just, uh, we'll just continue going. And we only get, to, oh, I think it's only for Jin Woo's, is it? So now we only really get to play as Jin Woo. So we have two abilities now that I think use separate manas. And, okay, so it's separate cooldowns, which means, yes, we do need a lot more mana. So I was right for that. The animations look great. Now, how exactly we switch from one to the other, I don't really know. I think it's the first one that you're going to, like, the first weapon that you have equipped is the one that you're going to be using <laughs> most of the time. So that's skill one, and then we got skill two, and then you left shift, and uh, you know, there you go. So, yeah, no, um, it's I'm probably getting busted both worlds now that I have both of the SSR weapons equipped. So, bop, and then bop, and uh, there we go, you know, looking pretty cool. So, I didn't use the hunters, but you are able to assist with them. They are only assists, though, they are only assists, so please do keep that in mind. Let's put the volume a bit lower, and uh, yeah, so let's go into it. So now we could assist. Well, they're basically already there. When you're fighting the boss, they all come out. Okay, I just want to make that clear. I should have mentioned that before. But uh, yeah, there we go. So now we just wait. Mainly, you're waiting for the F and the C ability to come back. Those are the ones that do big damage, which you're about to see. So, you know, 80%. And now, you know, we're kind of getting them down quite low. Oh, actually, this guy has a lot of HP. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to be here for a little bit. Uh, but this isn't bad. Oh, actually, no. We just did a lot of damage. Oh, my. And we're going to ult soon. Hopefully, we get the ult in. I do want to show the alt, but I don't think we're going to be able. Now we're not going to be able. Unfortunate. It would have been nice to show the alt, but it is what it is. So, you know, that is how it works. Um, the weapons look pretty cool. I think that the way it, it is is just really good there. So that's the gameplay. Um, and then they got their own, like, outro screen too. So there's going to be a lot of screenshots for this game. That's good. And I did not have the glitch. So thank God we did not get the glitch on um, video. That would have been a bit bad. 
but yeah so there you go we're gonna show some more stuff in future videos and i will be streaming uh later today so you know definitely go for that as you can see i am clicking on the menu but it's just not letting me so i mean i'm just gonna go out and like hope it kind of like allows me now so you know there we go so overall i would say this game is very much worth playing um i i mean bro it's so fun the gameplay is amazing the systems that they have is amazing. The way that they have the characters, um, the way that the stats work, I think is really fun. The way that the weapons are is great. The characters are really cool. This guy, I just wish he was cooler in the webtoon because I would have loved him because his design is great. I just, like, Choi is so much cooler, man. I'm sorry, but, like, Lim Tai Gu, get out of here, right? Get out of here. But, uh, yeah, we're going to slowly start getting more into it. I'm very excited to get the shadows, but... Uh, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And let me know what you guys think of solo leveling Arise. Are you guys going to be playing? Are you guys already playing? Let me know down below. Peace.